Hi, here in Haitiville with Rebecca Zama. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? Good. We're so excited to see you perform tonight. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Um, so we have a few questions so we could um, get familiar with you. So um, your music <clears throat> definitely is in very inclusive with the, with Haitian compa and um, American music, So, um, which is very important for the new generations to come. How important is that for you? Well, um, as an artist, I believe that my music should reflect who I am as a person, whether it be my emotions, what I'm going through, my view on things. So as a Haitian American, um, it's part of who I am, you know, mixing the two cultures together to create something that's true to my identity, to, you know, who I am as a person. So in mixing the two cultures, it's two cultures that I am very proud of. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it makes my music me and music should be authentic. Right. And it shows, it shows, definitely. Thank you. Yeah. So um, as you emerge in the music field, um, what's the best advice that, that you've received thus far? Um, a lot of people, um, you know, they tell me, Kim Bela, you know, it's not easy. A lot of people yes. think that just because it's music, that it's easy. And I think the best advice that I've gotten is to not forget who I am, where I come from, and why I started doing music in the first place. Because it, it's easy to get discouraged, it's easy to, you know, want to give up sometimes because things don't necessarily go the way that you want them to go, and you make a plan and a timeline, and then things might not, right. you know, turn out the way that you want them to. So the best of advice that I've gotten is to keep going, not listen to any of the negativity, to the you know the criticism. Take it, of course, listen to it, accept constructive criticism, but don't let it deter you from what you're doing. Your so, ultimate goal. Exactly, right, so right. it's just to continue to persevere and to remember that I love music and that it's all worth it in the end. Okay, so um, what actually got you into music? Were you always um, singing or where did you start? How did you get into it? I've always, always loved music since I was a kid. Like my earliest memories are me singing around the house with my mom. Um, my mom used to say that like when she was pregnant with me, she thought it was gas, but she thinks it was actually just me singing. You know, um, <laughs> I've always loved music. So I started singing when I was very young, and I'm lucky to have a mom who was very supportive of my love for music. So she enrolled me in classes to learn to play piano, and when there were opportunities in the community to perform, she would always put me out there and say, my daughter loves to sing. Um, so I would just say my mom believing in, in me and um, you know supporting my music and that's just been since day one. Okay. Yeah, that's very important. The support, definitely, definitely. to have your backbone to support. Um, so you have a few singles out. Yes. Um, should we be expecting maybe an album or any more singles coming out? Or Definitely. So there is new music on the way. Um, currently in the studio working on some new things for you. Uh, okay. We're looking at an album probably around fall of next year. And a couple more singles are coming. So look, okay. out, look out. There's good, definitely good, new good. music on the way. Good to hear. <laughs> Um, so aside from the, sing um, the singles coming out, when you're not singing, what, what do you do? What's your interest? Where does your other interest lie? Well, I'm actually uh, in university right now. I okay. go to Suffolk University studying international relations and global business. So that takes up a lot of my free time. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, besides that, uh, music is something that I love to do. So when I have that free moment, I'm listening to music. I'm going to concerts, writing music, or you know, spending time with my friends and family. But between school and music, there isn't very much time. You, you know? stay busy. Exactly. Always you stay busy. busy. Okay. Um, so for anybody that would be starting up now in this new, um, in the music world, as a Haitian American, yes. what's, what would you tell them? I would just say, you know, that same advice is just, you know, make sure you know why you're doing your music. Make sure that you really start and you take your time and don't rush it. I have to remind myself of that sometimes too. You know, you want things to go quickly, quickly, quickly. You just want to get everything going, but it takes time. Right. So what I'd say is that know that it's not going to be easy, but make sure that you're doing it because it's something that you love. And when you love something, no matter how frustrating or, or difficult it is, it's you know that you have to do it because you have to do that music. So I would just say to anyone who's starting, um, you know, network, meet as many people as you can, show love to others because they'll show love to you, and just keep going, keep pushing because right. you will reap what you sow. Yes, but it just yes. it might take a little while. Right.
And as you stated before, is to stay authentic to yourself. Definitely. Right, right, right. Definitely. Okay. Well, it's great talking to you. Great Thank talking you so to much. you. Thank you so much for We're looking me. forward to seeing you perform out there tonight. Thank you. I'm really excited for tonight. It's really a pleasure to share the stage with Felicia Ross and IET, a lot of musicians that I really love and respect. So it's it's really going to be a great night. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right.